What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm back to watch some Boruto. I think I'm on episode 170. I should probably know that before I start recording. But I just want to get into things really badly, man. On the road to Kawaki, we've been having some training episodes, and things have been going pretty well. Boruto, he's been learning the wind style, Rasengan, and it's looking pretty cool. It's got this little green hue to it. I'm digging it. And so Boruto has been learning that. Oh, um, but the episode ended off with he's about to go fight Shoujoji. Freaking Kakashi, he met up with Ibiki and he was like, hey, I got a question for you, man. And then it turns out that his question was like, hey, can Boruto test out his freaking uh, Rasen wind style Rasengan? I almost called it a Rasen Shuriken, but can he test out his wind style Rasengan on freaking Shoujoji? So this should be interesting. But yeah, Road to Kawaki, where is he? Can I get to him today? In today's, you know, I might watch a couple of episodes. Can I get to him? Freak. I thought I would I thought I would get to him by now. Anyways, before I get into the next episode, if you guys are enjoying these reactions, leave a like. That would be greatly appreciated. Also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, if you want, you can check out these other social media that I got. And uh, if you're watching on YouTube, consider checking out patreon.com slash Don Diego if you want to catch these reactions ahead of time. And with that being said, let's get on to the next episode of Boruto. Let's go. This should be interesting. You can't eat our brains. I'll never eat a hey, thing so again. Tell me the truth here. Are you actually going to reduce my sentence if I agree to fight against him? Wow, really? It's of probably lying. You, will. you have my word. But remember, the deal will only count if you remain standing at the end of the fight. Ooh. <laughs> this is going to be too easy. <laughs> Brat, this isn't He's got go confidence in Boruto. Like you took the words right out of my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> this time you're going to go down I'm even harder. Shoujoji's restraints. Fine. I'm ready anytime. Let's freaking go. So confident. Now begin. <laughs> I gotta see this, man. Because we didn't even see, like, how Borto ended up improving it. Shadow clone Jutsu. Nice. I like that he's got a Shadow clone helping out the Rasengan now. Nice. Yeah, he's got that thing. Can block, like, any freaking attack. But Boruto must have remembered that, right? Wind style Zephyr Shield is an invincible wind. Yeah, you already to told us. Every attack I can you already told you us this. I had that in my bag of tricks, did you, brat? Can't believe that was like 20 years. I guess that's the last time we fought. You've managed to make your jutsu a little bit stronger. That's all you've got. I guess I've been watching work. a lot of Boruto lately. I'm just trying to get to Kaoki, dude. <laughs> wind style Rasengan doesn't have enough power, so I guess now's the time. What? Now's the time for what? I think the real fight's just about to begin. Fight what does Kakashi know that he's about to see? <laughs> Let's go! Yo. Whoa! The heck? It's always totally obvious where you're aiming your attacks. This fight is reminding me of the previous opening. Alright then, next it's my turn. Look just like that. That shabby, useless jutsu of yours is absolutely nothing at all compared to my Zephyr shield. Just give me your opinion after you get hit by it. Ooh, what? That's... Ah! What? <laughs> what in the... So the shape's different, but it's still just the same old pointless No, it's technique. not. What, 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 what is... <laughs> what are we about to see here? High compression Rasengan. He's gonna break through that? No way. Oh, he's going down. No reduced sentence for you. Let's go. How was that? Oh my. Oh my. What just happened here? He like. It seems Shoujoji totally misread it. Oh, I get it. You know how they were talking about like he wanted to make it bigger, but instead of bigger, he actually made it smaller. Power is just amazing. But more powerful. Dang, I don't think Shoujoji's doing using it right. If he Zephyr shield, then I have no doubt he'd be dead right now. Wow. It's like a <laughs> compressed... Hey, that was my new Rasengan just now, you know? Oh, yeah. I know that. I just so saw it. So, now he's got so, like... let me guess. <laughs> he's got a bunch of different Rasengans on. You compressed and increased its density up to its limit. I moved mountains to make it happen. He moved mountains. Oh. His hand. But, you know, I think I might have overdone it. Uh, oh, well. Oh, dear. 
<laughs> He's been training practically nonstop since yesterday, after all. Yeah, but it paid off, man. I have to say that kids these days are really quite impressive. That was pretty sweet. Sarada. She's been working on some important training as well. Wow. Good save. Do you want to take a little break? Probably not. No, it's fine. And besides, I think I'm really close to getting it. Going at it haphazardly isn't going to Okay, now Sakura is going to be supportive. Mom. Ever since that talk that she had with Ino and Hinata. Did you come here to interfere with my training again? <laughs> no. The reason I came is to verify your resolve. Do you truly understand what it's going to take to hone your Sharingan? It can't be done by being half-hearted about your training, you know. Yeah, of course. I know that already. Let me see how serious you are. Come on. Get show me serious. Your by fighting against me. Oh, wow. Against you? Sarada versus sure, Sakura. Why not, after all? I am still a leaf, Jonin. All right, fine. Let's, Let's do this. Go. I'll show you just how serious I am. We got Sakura. I'm versus sorry, but Sakura I just don't worry about it. Attack me with everything you've got. Mm -hmm. Cha. I hope we get a cha out of the both of them. Oh, whoa! Nice. Manny. Where'd you go? A substitution? Huh. Is that all you've got? <laughs> I couldn't follow you at all. The instant you throw your punch, you apply the chakra you've infused to explosively intensify your attack power. You've got the basics, but it's not quite there yet. Now watch and I'll show you how it's done. Whoa. Whoa. Right at the last the millisecond. There goes the tree. Man, that tree probably has been around for ages. Now it's dead. So this is your real power? Oh, what's going what? on? She's overusing it. What is going on here? It's your chakra control. It's simply too weak. I really shouldn't have to tell you about this, but in order to use the Sharingan, you need to have a lot of chakra. So unless you allocate it wisely, you'll run out of stamina quickly. Even in your attack, at the moment that your fist made contact, your chakra wasn't applied efficiently, so your strike was only half as powerful as it could have been. That reveals your main weakness right now. You have to focus on mastering delicate chakra control, or your Sharingan won't be able to develop any further. Mom had perfect chakra control. She can transform her internal chakra into an attack without any waste at all. That's why she could keep attacking in succession so smoothly. Do you have the strength to recognize what you're lacking and work hard to overcome the weaknesses you find in yourself? I believe right she now, does. The only thing that's really driving you is impatience. Even if that's true, I can't just say, okay, sure, you're right, and quit. Because I've already made up my mind that I'm going to become stronger. So show me your resolve. Yeah, that's exactly what I intend to do. <laughs> your chakra control is still too weak. Ooh. Taking even one hit from her could be lethal. Well, I don't... <laughs> I don't think she'll actually hit you with the lethal punch. Oh, here's a cha. But can we get one from Sarada? Okay, that's enough. Is this really as far as my Sharingan can go? No, you did really well. There's no need to rush. Simply give it time and increase the number of things that you're able to do. The things I'm able to do? Yeah. Wait, there's still one more thing left. Oh, what's that? There's no reason to go any further. What no, is the one thing? There is, because there's still something else that I can do. What is it? Kenjutsu? Okay, she did this before though, so that's not what she was talking about. Stay calm. Watch mom's moves very carefully. Well. Ooh. All right, what is it? What 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 what, what are you about to do? It appears that you've reached your limit. No, she has so something. It's time to wrap this up. Ooh. 
Maybe it's to copy her moves? Yeah, it is. Okay, so she's copying her moves. Oh, look at they do the cha together! Whoa, their fist didn't even touch. Whoa, they can't even touch. There's resolve right there. What in the world? Well, that was pretty cool. They made a plateau. So did I prove my resolve to you or what? Did you happen to use the Sharingan to copy your mom's moves? Yeah, that's yeah, exactly what she did. Yeah, the moment, so it's just a little bit forced. Mom's chakra control is perfect. I couldn't copy that. Even with the Sharingan, it's just not possible to duplicate. I could copy your physical movements. So by moving in the exact same manner and applying chakra on top of that, you forcibly copied her chakra control. Is that what you did? That's right. Mm. You see, if it's a big attack, then I'm able to assess the timing of the chakra flow behind it. So I synced up to that. That's the first time I've ever felt chakra flow through my body as smoothly as it just did. Nice. <laughs> Mom, what? Oh, you fool. It was so incredibly reckless of you. I just felt like if I gave up now, then I'd never be able to improve. So will you acknowledge my resolve now? Of yes, course. of course. You didn't ever give up, no matter how hard you were pushed. So you have guts. You sure proved that to me. <laughs> I mean, after all, a girl's got to be tough if she's going to survive. Oh, that's what... Well, there's no doubt that you're definitely my daughter. Huh. <laughs> Desperately focused and unbelievably That's what Eno said well. that she said to her back <laughs> in the day. Thank you very much, Mom. Beginning right now, you and I are going to begin your training to hone your chakra control. All right. Yeah, that's a good idea. So now really she's all in and helping so with the training. don't forget how it felt just now. But I can't. I'm all out of chakra. Oh, boy. This takes me back to my days <laughs> of training with Lady Tsunade. She used to say, the real training begins after you go beyond your limits. She wouldn't let me take a break even if I broke a few bones because she could just heal me up later on. <laughs> well, look at the change in tune there. Orochimaru, let's see how Mitsuki's doing. We've been focusing a lot on Boruto and Sarada, but Mitsuki's still the over here. I'm selling question. There's a high probability it's one that was taken from the collection that you kept at your old research lab. That was such a long time ago. I understand quite a few samples were stolen back then. That's right. I was able to find and retrieve most of them, but nonetheless, mm. there were a few that I could not. Well, I suppose it can't be helped. And besides, so there's going to be even more that anyone can handle very easily. Who do you think could have stolen it? Who knows? Really? You mean you don't have any idea at all? No, I don't. He's awake. Ah, you're awake now, are you? How is he doing? What's his physical condition? It's really quite severe. Many parts will no longer be usable. What? They'll have to be replaced, but even afterward, there's no guarantee they'll work like they used to. What parts are these? Was it really worth it, getting hurt this badly? Dang, just I didn't realize it was going to hurt him that bad. I'll do whatever I can for you, especially since I went through such pains to collect all that data. It'd be a waste to let it end like this. Mitsuki. All right, so in the beginning of the episode, we saw that fight between Boruto and Shoujoji. Boruto's thing that he worked on was like a completely different Rasengan. And it was that he, instead of making a bigger one like he originally wanted to do, he actually made a smaller one. But it wasn't just smaller, it was denser and more powerful. So when he hit Shoujoji with that, he, he was able to take him down, even with that Sephir shield, whatever it's called. And Kakashi was like, if he didn't have that, probably would have killed him. So that was really cool. Then the other part of the episode was Sarada. Sakura showed up and uh, she wanted to fight her to test her resolve. And then she told Sarada that like what she needed to work on was the chakra control. And we know that um, Sakura, that was, that was always like one of the things that she was really good at. But that was cool too, because eventually, um, you know, Sarada was like, you know, she had like one more thing that she could do. And that was to copy Sakura's movements. And then we got the cha with the both of them doing it at the same time. So that was cool. And then at the very end of the episode, we saw Mitsuki. He finally woke up. Orochimaru was saying that, uh, you know, that there were some like Hashirama cells and uh, he wasn't able to retrieve some of them. 
So I guess that means that there's going to be like even more than that one, you know, that one that they, you know, took from the land of silence and everything. Probably going to be even more than that. And he was like, well, who stole them? And we know that we saw that freaking doctor that was from that one arc, that Mitsuki arc, when he went to the stone village. We saw him a couple episodes ago. I still don't know how he's alive. We'll see what happened there. Is it even really him? What if there's another guy? What if there's another person that has like a shoujoji type of jutsu? Like a corpse clone jutsu. But anyways, uh, Mitsuki is awake now. And Orochimaru also said that he has like parts that are going to be unusable. Like, wow, I didn't realize that he was going to get so hurt from using the sage power. Like, I hope that that ends up not doing that in the future. I would like to see. Well, I mean, though, I think that's the really the goal of Orochimaru. He wants Mitsuki to be able to use that power without getting hurt so much. But right now, it's just not like that. Right now, if he uses it, it like really, really damages his body. That stinks. But anyways, what did you guys think about the episode? Let me know down in the comment section. Also, if you did enjoy the reaction, leave a like. That'd be greatly appreciated. Feel free to check out the other social media. And if you're watching on YouTube, consider checking out patreon.com slash Don Diego. If you want to catch these reactions ahead of time. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.